Jonathan, thanks for being with us. Good morning to you. Let's talk first about this blockchain-enabled ETF. It provides a secondary record of the shares on the Ethereum blockchain. Explain to our audience what that means and why investors would need this. So first, it's not an ETF. It shows you how early we are on digital assets that no exchange actually has the license or approvals for tokenized securities yet. So this can only be, be, be bought in Wisdom Tree's wallet, Wisdom Tree Prime, which we're in beta test now, rolling it out nationally in the first quarter. Um, so just a little bit of house cleaning on that. But um, it's very exciting to create um, blockchain-enabled financial services, and our Wisdom Tree Treasury Fund is one of the building blocks that will uh, be a part of the ecosystem as it emerges. Okay, so then my second question, Jonathan, why is it exciting? Why would investors need it? What about the current record isn't working? So, you know, what's interesting when you think about tokenization, most people are trying to tokenize things like private assets that are, so things that don't really have a great experience for investors. We're trying to do tokenize, our standards are, ETF, so the, the best of the old rails. Nothing is better, more investor-friendly than an ETF. With tokenization, we think we can make it even better. So you'll add things like lower fees, faster settlement, peer-to-peer -peer exchange of value in a safe, secure manner. So Wisdom Tree Prime is being built for saving, investing, and payments. Really, a new relationship with your money is what will emerge. Um Jonathan, so uh, explain how this potentially shifts Wisdom Tree's business model. WTSY, you say, it has no management fees or other ongoing expenses. How do you guys make money, and how does blockchain help you do things more efficiently? So it's great. So one is we will be, though we, you know, we run commercials on CNBC, so we do have a direct-to-consumer, but... Uh, the wallet will be even more so. So a direct-to-consumer channel, so it's a distribution channel. Um, explicitly, we are trying to, as a public company, diversify our revenue streams. We'll make money on transaction revenue, net interest income. And what's very interesting, you brought it up. I mean, beta on the blockchain, I'm not sure if there will be expense ratios. Certainly, we are pushing a business model where there won't be. And that is going to be extraordinarily disruptive to some of the historical asset managers, I believe, in the years to come. You point out this is not about cryptocurrencies themselves. I wonder, right. are there any even secondary effects that you see on the cryptocurrency market here? Because people oftentimes have a hard time separating blockchain technologies from cryptocurrencies themselves. And some people might see these, see this and think, oh, Wisdom Tree is getting in on crypto, which is not what you're doing, but are there any effects you see on Ethereum itself? So first, we do have crypto ETPs in Europe. We do offer future-based Bitcoin in the US in some of our broad-based commodity funds. Um, mostly we're doing crypto, the asset class, in the United States through SMAs uh, because of regulatory constraints. One interesting thing with Wisdom Tree Prime, one of the use cases where Bitcoin, Ethereum can sit seamlessly with your equities and your bonds and your commodities. So that's really an innovation that we think will be very constructive. It, it will make it easier for more people. We're trying to mainstream crypto, the mm -hmm. asset class, that's one of the purposes at Wisdom Tree.